Greetings, YouTubers. I'm Rick, the tech enthusiast here with a little tech bit video on the twos complement format. In the previous lesson, I mentioned that the DS3231 RTC's temperature bytes were encoded in a twos complement format. And if you're reading the bytes directly from the chip, it's nice to know what this means. Simply put, the twos complement format is a method of storing positive and negative numbers as bits or individual ones and zeros. The most significant bits, the MSB, would indicate the negative sign. However, the confusing part is that the negative numbers are also incremented by a single bit. So why do this? Well, this is most useful for computers when performing binary math. Adding a positive and a twos complement negative number will result in a correct value. As it turns out, it also allows for easy addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And this is the native way the Arduino IDE represents binary signed values. If you were to imagine a binary odometer, as we count up in value, the binary number increments as expected. But as we count down to zero and then to negative one, we see the odometer roll back all the zeros to ones. A twos complement binary 11111111 is equivalent to a negative one. To illustrate this, let's look at two numbers and their equivalent nibbles, or a four bit binary version. A decimal five equals 0101, zero one, zero one, and a decimal four equals 0100. Zero zero zero. To subtract four from five, we convert the four to a twos complement negative number. First, we subtract one from the decimal four to get three or a binary 0011. Then we invert all the values, which changes it to 1100. Binary 1100 is a negative binary value for decimal four. Now, if we add them together from the least significant bit to the most significant bit, we get one plus zero equals one. Zero plus zero equals zero. One plus one equals zero, and we carry the one. And one plus zero equals one. Plus one equals zero, carry the one. The final carry one is an overflow bit and is simply discarded. The result is zero, 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 one, which is decimal one, as expected. Five minus four equals one. A full byte would look like this. Five equals zero, 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 one, zero, one, and four equals zero, 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 one, zero, zero. To convert the four to a two's complement negative number, we subtract one from four, which is three, and invert the bit values, leaving a binary one, 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 zero, zero. The math works the same as before. Since the most significant bit is used to track the negative values, this limits the range of numbers for a byte from 127 to negative 128. A similar limitation applies to other data types. So if you're directly reading a chip's registry and the values are stored in two's complement and you're examining the binary values, you may need to keep this in mind. Fortunately, the Arduino IDE automatically handles the conversion to decimal for us. Well, that's it for this tech bit video and the twos complement format. If you have any questions like this, be sure to let me know in the comments section below, and I'll try to make another tech bit video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.